Hi DIYers, this is Michael from AlarmGrid, and today I'm going to be showing you how to enroll a Honeywell 6GB glass break detection sensor with a Honeywell Lyric alarm system. Uh, the Honeywell 6GB, it's a glass break detection sensor, uh, meaning it listens for the sound of broken glass. Um, this is an encrypted sensor, uh, so it has some added wireless security. Um, so it can be used to monitor windows or protective glass casings. Um, if it hears the, the sound of glass being smashed along with a, a thud of an object striking against the glass, um, the sensor has a specially designed microphone to listen to for those types of sounds. And when it detects that type of sound, it will alert the system. And the system will trigger a response based on how you set the zone. Um, so we have our sensor here, and we're going to be enrolling it today. Uh, the first thing I want to show you when it's not enrolled, and by the way, to get it off the, the, ba uh, the, the back plate, um, you press against it, and then you can just twist it counterclockwise, the sensor. And then you can see the LED light, it's blinking green quickly to indicate that it's um, not enrolled. So uh, we're going to put ours back, and we can close it by putting it on the back plate and then turning it clockwise. So we have our sensor closed right now. But I'm going to get into six programming and then talk about how you can enroll it. So uh, let's start from the, the real main screen of the Lyric right here. Um, so we're at the main screen. We're going to choose security. We're going to choose tools. And then we're going to enter in our installer code, which ours is at the default of 4112. And then we're going to choose program. And we're going to press the down arrow. And we're going to go to six programming. And now you have a few options for enrolling the 6GB. If you're using it for the first time, there'll be a battery tab that you can pull to power on the sensor. And powering it on will send a signal. Uh, if you uh, do the tamper cover, which is what we're going to do, then that will also send an enrollment signal. If you used the sensor before, you can open up the sensor and insert a, a fresh battery into it. And uh, powering it on will trigger um, the, the enrollment signal as well. So the Lyric's in its listening mode right now. So we have our sensor, and we have it. We're pressing it against the wall, assuming it was mounted. And then we're just twisting it counterclockwise to remove the, the back cover. And uh, the LED's blinking fast. We should get um, a confirmation on the panel shortly. And there we go. So we have our uh, 6GB. And um, if you see the LED, it's now blinking slowly to indicate that it's enrolled with the Lyric system. And just to avoid any more trouble, we're going to close the sensor here. There we go. We got it on there. And then we just twist it clockwise. And now our, our sensor is closed. Our 6GB is, is ready for action. So um, let's begin adjusting the zone settings, which is a very important part of setting up any sensor on your Lyric system, or any system for that matter. So we have ours uh, highlighted blue. We have the sensor we're working with, highlighted blue. And we're going to choose Edit down at the bottom. And this is where we can configure the settings. So response type, that determines how the system responds when the sensor is faulted. That is, when this detects a glass break event. Perimeter means that when the system's armed um, and it detects a glass break event, it will cause an immediate alarm on your system. So and that, that's usually the most popular option for a glass break detection sensor. Um, because if your system's armed and then someone smashes in the window, you're going to want an immediate alarm. So that's usually the one to go with. Um, but there are other options here that you can certainly choose from. Uh, we have an FAQ that talks all about response types if you want to learn more about them. But we're just going to use perimeter today uh, because that's the, the popular option. Uh, we, we're going to have our chime disabled because we don't necessarily want um, a sound emitted from the panel, uh, a, a notification sound, just to let us know that our window has been smashed. So. We'll keep our chime disabled. Um, and voice descriptors, so those are actually important. Um, th those are the name, that represents the name for the sensor, um, what the, the panel will speak out uh, when the zone's faulted. And it will already uh, speak the device type of glass. So we, all, we don't need to put in glass as the second descriptor. We can just do uh, whatever we want here. Um, so we'll do, um, we'll do baby bedroom bed, bedroom. And then we'll press save. And we have baby bedroom glass. That's, that's what we'll go with as the, the voice descriptor name. Um, OK, so uh, then we have these toggle options down here. Right now, they're both enabled. Let's start with alarm report. So when you have alarm report enabled, uh, that means when this zone causes an alarm on your Lyric system, the Lyric, assuming you're monitored, it's set up for monitoring service, uh, will we'll send a signal to AlarmNet. And then AlarmNet can forward the signal to Total Connect 2.0 and or a central monitoring station, depending on your monitoring plan. Total Connect 2.0 can send you text and email alerts about um, a faulted zone. Um, so that way you can, you can call for help yourself. Um, so that's, that's an option to get notified. 
Um, the other option I was talking about, uh, the central monitoring station. Um, a trained dispatcher will see the alarm on your system, and they'll know to take action based on the instructions on your account. Uh, that usually involves contacting you, and if you can't provide a false alarm passcode to let them know that everything's all right, then they'll be sending out emergency dispatch. And the authorities will soon be at your home or business. So uh, we want to have our alarm report enabled because if someone smashes our window or breaks our protective glass casing, then we'll want to know about it. And just by the way, this, this uh, sensor detects uh, glass break events from about 25 feet away and um, make sure there's nothing in line between the, the glass that it's monitoring. So just keep that in mind. It can monitor multiple windows or glass casings if you position it carefully. That's something to keep in mind. Uh, supervision. So this sensor, regardless of whether or not you enable supervision, is sending out uh, check-in signals with the panel at all times. But supervision, um, if, if that's determining whether or not the Lyric is actively listening for the supervision check-in signals. Um, so it has to check in periodically, and if it doesn't send a signal and the Lyric is expecting it, maybe because the sensor is out of range, it has a range of roughly 300 nominal feet. Wireless, uh, wireless range can be disrupted by uh, large metal objects or thick walls. Um, so if it's out of range or it's powered down and it can't get a check-in signal to the Lyric, the Lyric will be wondering, hey, where's the check-in signal? Um, there, there must be trouble. So it will give you trouble. It will give you the RF supervision loss trouble. And um, then you'll know about that on your system. So that, that will be a problem. So keep this in range and keep the batteries fresh. Um, and lastly, we have, um, and even, even says right there for supervision, it has the, the, the time set at one hour. And there's no way we can change that. We don't have a way to press a button there. So the last thing we're looking at is the sensitivity. Uh, we have a few options here. Um, we usually recommend setting ours on low or medium security because um, setting on, on maximum security, the sensors are designed pretty well, but um, something such as um, something such as like dropping a plate, smashing a plate could accidentally trigger it, for instance. So um, just to prevent false alarms, uh, we'll set ours to low security. We don't want it on lowest, but we'll, we'll keep it on low uh, for, for, um, for sensitivity. Yes. Um, yes. So uh, we have ours on low sensitivity now. And um, there, our, our zone looks good, so we'll click Save. And um, there, so, so our, our zone's fine. And I just want to show you the zone um, in, program, in, in the zone section here. We have that uh, right there, baby bedroom glass break. So that's, that's our sensor here. And uh, now we're going to return to the home screen. And, um, and the, the best way to test these sensors is with a glass break simulator, which uh, we didn't bring ours today. So we'll instead uh, just uh, we'll do a tamper cover um, again. We press it against the, the, the wall, and we turn it uh, counterclockwise, and we get, the, we get the trouble condition. It doesn't speak out the name, unfortunately, but we do know that it's programmed. Um, we're just going to close that, and we have to disarm with our master code. Get that to go away. We do, do a double disarm there. And now we're ready to arm. If, if we did, uh, if we did uh, do a traditional... Um, well, if we broke a window or we uh, did a glass break simulator test, then it would say um, it would mention the baby bedroom glass break as the fault. But uh, since we just did the tamper, just to show that it's programmed um, there, and uh, you can also confirm um, if you if you look in zones. By the way, um, when when you're enrolling the sensor, I just want to show you one last thing here. Uh, you can see that uh, it has the serial number, the MAC address for the sensor, right there at the bottom, and you can confirm it by checking the sticker on the, the device if, if you want to really make sure that you have the right uh, device program. So just something to keep in mind um, as you're programming, if you're programming a large number of sensors. Um, but we have ours successfully enrolled, so we're happy now. And we'll get back to the main screen here. Um, there we go. So that's how you enroll a Honeywell 6GB with a Honeywell Lyric alarm system. If you have any questions about the Honeywell 6GB, about glass break detection, um, glass break simulators, or about alarm monitoring services, send an email to support at alarmgrid.com. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up below to like the video, and remember to subscribe to our channel for updates on future videos. We hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.